In terms of military innovation, for the Soviet Union size has always been important. One of the best examples of this doctrine is the Milmi-26, the largest and most powerful helicopter ever mass-produced, a beast capable of carrying more than 20 tons, or dozens of fully equipped soldiers. So powerful that he was even in charge of rescuing American ships from dangerous territory. In this new installment of military aviation we are going to review its history and its amazing characteristics to discover why it remains valid after 40 years of service. The Mil Mi-26 was designed in the 1970s to provide the Soviet Army with a heavy helicopter for operations in remote parts of the Soviet Union. Keep in mind that Russia is huge, but it used to be even bigger, with a territory equivalent to many countries combined. The project was carried out under the leadership of the chief engineer Gennady Smirnov, who can be considered the father of the Mi-26. Initially known as Product 90, between 1971 and 1972 it underwent crucial changes to its powertrain, notably the addition of two D-136 turboshaft engines approved by the Soviet Union Scientific Council. The initial kick for the development of the Mi-26 were the operational shortcomings of other designs, such as the experimental V-12 birotor helicopter, which proved incapable of carrying out the arduous transport missions required by the socialist power. The Mi-26 required a long and expensive development of a completely new dynamic system, with proper rotor and transmission system. It was originally planned to use two rotors, like the American CH-47 Chinook or the Yak-24, but engineers eventually settled on a classic single rotor scheme. This significantly reduced the weight of an already quite robust and heavy helicopter. In addition, it increased the cargo capacity, the fundamental quality of the Mi-26. To further decrease weight, a titanium alloy was also used for the main rotor hubs. The construction of the rotor blades was made with fiberglass, which meant an important advance over the wooden blades used in models such as the Mi-6. The air intakes were covered, making them resistant to arid and dusty climate, so as not to affect the capacity of the engines. One of the main requirements of the Soviet Army was that the aircraft be able to take off with a maximum load equal to twice the empty weight, a huge challenge that put engineers in trouble. Finally, after years of design, on December 14, 1977, the prototype of the helicopter, designated V-26, flew for five minutes, beginning a love story between this giant of the skies and Russia. Now that we know the design process, let's get acquainted with the dimensions and capabilities of the Mi-26 in detail. The Mi-26 has a length of 40 meters, a height of 8.1 meters, and its main rotor diameter is 32 meters. It has an empty weight of 28,200 kilograms, a loaded weight of 49,500 kilograms and a maximum takeoff load of 56,000 kilograms. These figures make it the largest and most powerful series-produced helicopter in the world, and the largest single-rotor helicopter ever made. Megalomania and innovation is a trademark of Soviet aviation. But how does such a beast move? To do this, the engineers used two Lodorev D-136 turboshaft engines, which allow it to reach a maximum speed of 295 km per hour, with a flight ceiling of 4,600 meters and a range of 1,952 km. This last figure is essential considering the gigantic distances it must travel to operate within Russian territory. Additionally, the Mi-26 has an overpressurized crew cabin for nuclear, radiological, biological, and chemical conditions. Together with the Mi-24-35 and the HAL LCH, they are the only helicopters in the world with a pressurized cabin that have been produced in series. The latest version under development specially upgrades the aircraft's electronics and improves or adds defensive or all-weather operation capabilities. Russian pilots affectionately nicknamed it Cal, since its general configuration was similar to the previous heavy helicopter, the Milmi-6, but with greater dimensions and weight, except in one detail. The Mi-26 has a smaller rotor, but with eight blades, to which is added a power plant that generates almost twice the power, with two large turbines installed above the cockpit, 
which allows it to carry a load 66% higher than that of its ancestor. The superiority of the cow is evident. Between May 1979 and August 1980, the Mi-26 passed state tests and received a recommendation for use by the Soviet Army. Serial production of the aircraft began on October 4, and since then it has not stopped, setting several operational records along the way. The capability of the Mi-26 was demonstrated on February 3, 1982 when, as the final result of a series of logistical feats, a test prototype of the Soviet model managed to lift a total mass of 56,768 kilograms to a height of 2,000 meters. But for a military transport aircraft, these achievements would be worthless if they couldn't be usefully applied in tactical situations. In 1996, an Mi-26 set a new record by carrying the largest group of paratroopers in history, a total of 224 people who jumped from a helicopter in flight. That's the equivalent of an entire airborne team for a military operation, and we're talking about just one helicopter. After several years of development, the helicopter is still relatively new to the Russian inventory, and is still in serial production and offered to various countries where it is used for personnel transport to faraway places, without a runway. Thanks to this, the Mi-26 has a rich and varied operational history despite being a transport craft designed to operate within Russian territorial limits. The debut of the Mi-26 was during the war in Afghanistan, although not the North American conflict, but the Russian intervention that took place between 1978 and 1992, where it fulfilled missions of transporting equipment and evacuating the wounded. They were even used to recover decommissioned Mi-8 helicopters. Likewise, as fate would have it, the Soviet-designed helicopter was used, in 2002, to extract two damaged American Boeing CH-47 Chinook helicopters and a Eurocopter AS-532 Cougar from the Afghan mountains. During the first years of the 21st century, the Russian government undertook an exploration and development campaign in the Arctic, which is why several Mi-26 units have been modernized and adapted to carry out operations in that climatic context, the most updated version being the Mi-26 T2. This version has the certified ability to fly in extreme conditions ranging from minus 40 to 50 degrees Celsius without perceiving damage to its systems. Due to its role, the Mi-26 has not suffered many losses in service, although a notable one occurred in August 2002, when Chechen separatists shot down one of these models with a surface-to-air missile, causing it to fall into a minefield. In total, 127 crew members died, making it one of the largest Russian air disasters. The ship was overloaded, for which reason investigations for negligence were initiated that culminated in the dismissal and sentence to prison of several soldiers. With more than 300 units built, the Mi-26 continues to be one of the Soviet pride of the Russian Air Force, with several records that are still far from being broken. We have reached the end of this video, if you like this content, we invite you to subscribe and activate notifications to be aware of our news. We will meet again in the next video of Military Aviation.